EA announces the new cover boy in Bristol. And the winner of the EA Sports NCAA Football 12 cover contest is... Get some playbook insight from one of the best in the business. Coach, has anyone ever challenged you to play? Like, you know, get you on the sticks to see how you do? Well, I've been challenged a lot, but I'm smarter than that. I'm not going to grab one. <laughs> and the plot thickens as the game team falls behind schedule. It's at the point where there are still going to be some major changes that need to happen. Which is scary. As fans across America get ready for another season of college football, one team is already in full swing. This is the making of EA Sports NCAA Football 12. No product has a more passionate consumer base than video games. Millions of games played, players recruited, and touchdowns scored inevitably leads to feedback on how the game can be improved. And that passionate feedback has enabled the fan base at large to become a part of the production process. I mean, looking back at some of the first titles I worked on, back in NCAA 05 was the first time we had online play. And so that was really kind of a new beginning there of being able to say, okay, now it's not just me and you playing in the same room, but I can play you across the country. And so that was a great addition to the game because it really got a lot of gamers into the game together and had this kind of communal experience. First thing I say is we do read the forums. I mean, you'll hear that from everybody here. There's a, a lot of feedback out there. We want to hear what our community, our fans are saying, and we want to react to it and make sure we're delivering the features that they ultimately want. What we look for in our key community members are guys that, A, I mean, know the game back and forwards. I mean, that's the key part because you're showing them things that are brand new and you can't just be kind of keeping them caught up with what we've done in the past to show them what's new. We want them to dive right into the new stuff. We want them to come in and give us crucial, honest feedback. As tough as they can be on the game, that's what we want because that's what our fans are. That's what our fans want is to have the best game possible. This year, we got the community in earlier than we ever have. Uh, they're getting to play the game. They're getting to see the features evolve. And most importantly, they're giving us real-time feedback that we're reacting to. We got a bigger group this time. I think we had 17 guys in all. Uh, they started in January. Uh, last year, I think we had them in March is when they first came here. Being able to harness the passion of these millions of fans who play the game every year, they want to help. There's just no way we couldn't do it without help. Even seeing it now from back in January when we came in to, to give feedback for the game, the lighting, the, the grass even looks better. Again, seven years ago, that wasn't the case. There wasn't a blogger for, or multiple bloggers for, for every game. But these days, everybody's got uh, an opinion. And, uh, you know, as best we can, we try to address the, the feedback of the community and the things that we're hearing out there. And another thing I see, too, though, the uh, running back's definitely showing a lot more assertiveness when it comes to stepping up in the pocket and trying right. to punch somebody. Whereas last time, you used to kind of stay by the quarterback. <laughs> right. Just wait for the guy to come to him. Yeah. yeah. We were at the uh, College Ball Award Show recently, and Ryan Rolls from Oklahoma wanted a picture with me. Who am I? I'm nobody. This is Ryan Rose we're talking about, and he wants a picture with me. It's just gratifying to know. I can look at things in the game and say, oh, you know what? I suggested that, and, and, and they put it in the game. <laughs> 